I want to show you a neat feature in the Firefox developer tools. Uh, when I inspect an element, I can find out why some of my CSS isn't working the way that I think it should. So let's take a look at that. I have this paragraph and my face here and a uh, header. I'm going to inspect the element. You can see I've got the span with a class of face and I've got a paragraph and main style and the h1. That's really all I'm going to worry about. Here I'm in the rules panel and I can see the CSS uh, that's applying to that element currently. I'm going to jump over to the style editor to my demo document, which is currently empty, but I'm going to take that face and give it a width of 3m. Now, why didn't that do anything? I can save here and see if that changes anything. It doesn't. Since I'm dealing with a local file, that just saves the file like uh, any other text editor. If I were on the web looking at somebody else's site, I could also save one of their CSS files this way or make changes to it and then save it. Um, and it would just allow me to download that document basically with my changes. I'm gonna jump back over to the inspector and see what's going on. We can see here it's showing me my width of 3M, but it's grayed out. And it's got this little I next to it, this I in a circle, which is often an indicator of more information. So I'm gonna hover over that. And we can see here it's telling me why that width wasn't applied. Width has no effect on this element since it was display of inline. Try adding display inline block or display block. So that's helpful already. If I need more information, I can click on the learn more link and that's gonna take me over to the Mozilla Developer Network documentation for width, which explains width only applies to block and replaced elements. It won't apply to inline elements. All right, so now I know why that CSS isn't working. And I can actually right here add a display of, let's go with block. Uh, no, let's do inline block actually here. Inline block, it's down there in the list. And now my width is applying. When I change the width, uh, the SVG changes size. So that's what I wanted. It's not only for width, this tool. Uh, it also tells us some other things. So I can say here, I want to now float this left. And you can see that immediately that display of inline block got grayed out. And now we get a tooltip that says the display value has been changed by the engine to block because the element is floated. Try removing float or adding display block. It doesn't really matter here, this line. Uh, because floated elements are always display block. And again, we get a link uh, this time to the display property and it explains uh, what we need to do in order for display to work. And that works in all sorts of cases. I mean, if we tried to align content, uh, really anything on this, we would get a warning that it needs to be a flex container. If we try to do align self, we'd find out that it needs to be a flex item or a grid item. There's many more of these. Um, vertical align isn't going to work. Oh, so let's look at that. So vertical align center, that's the wrong syntax. So we get a slightly different looking warning here. Uh, if we change that to middle, um, we again find that uh, vertical alignment isn't going to work on floated elements, only on inline elements. And just as a final thing, uh, because I've gone back and forth between using the inspector here and the style editor, let's just go back and you can see that in the style editor, it now shows all the changes that I've made. So again, I can just hit save uh, and all those changes are going to save to my hard drive. So there's all sorts of uh, reasons that CSS might not work and the tool will always show you uh, exactly why that CSS isn't doing anything and link you to more information. I hope that's useful for you. Have fun debugging in the browser. <laughs>